Hi again, everyone. This is Carmen from My Sweet Source. Today I am going to be painting a katana sword for a ninja cake I'm doing. Um, I have um, some gum paste all set. Um, this has been drying for a while now, um, for a few days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the edible art paint from Sweet Sticks. This is the gunmetal gray. This is a completely edible paint. So what you want to do when you first, before you first start painting, is you want to shake up the bottle like very well. Sometimes um, some of the solids tend to separate a little bit in lots of paints. So you just want to make sure it's well shaken up. And then the first thing you want to do is just make sure everything is dry when you start painting. Um, and of course this is um, this dries actually fairly well. So you'll see there's a little bit of icing sugar on the side of the katana sword that I'm going to be painting. You can just brush it off. The one thing I like to do to make it even a little bit more realistic is um, to add little details to it and then when I'm all done, I will steam it so it gives a nice shine, makes it a little bit more realistic looking. Of course, you want to wait until everything's completely set and the paint is dry for quite a while. So what I'm going to do is just use a regular flat brush to paint this on. And you'll see how nicely this comes out in a short period of time. Uh, one coat. And it's super shimmery. It looks just like metal. That's why I love this one so much for um, painting things that are metallic, um, like tools or metal swords like this one. Um, I've even done like hubcaps and things like that with 3D um, cars or trucks I've made. So it's like a darker silver is what it is. It's a gunmetal gray. And right now I have these items on top of just, it's literally just a cutting board, a uh, cheap plastic cutting board. Um, I'm gonna be doing another um, project on the silicone mat. So I just wanted to make sure that it didn't get paint all over it first. Um, Cause the paint does dry quite well. And if you tried it before, you know um, it's a bit to scrub it off sometimes, um, so it's just easier to use a little cutting board. Silicone uh, paints tend to stick to, or sorry, paints tend to stick to silicone quite well. And obviously to London as well too. <laughs> What I'm going to do is get a smaller brush for that edge there. <laughs> there go. Um, just so that I don't make any mistakes. Make sure you get all around the edges. It only takes one coat with this, especially when you use black underneath it um, or darker colors. It covers so well, and you can you can already see that it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, gotta get the edge a little bit more down here. The other thing I want to do is put some little detail in these little marks here on the handle. If you ever seen a katana sword sometimes it has that little detail little details on the handles
which I absolutely love. Give it some character. Yeah, the original cake um, that I'm using as an inspiration for this design, the customer picked it out and um, it didn't really have any detail on the sword, but I wanted to make it more amazing and give it a little bit more wow factor, I guess. Um, I always like trying to make cakes the most detailed as possible um, and make them better than the original cake that my customer is asking for. If you make it better than what the customers are asking for, the images they send you, it's way more likely that they're going to love the cake and um, appreciate the art that goes into it. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit close-up view of it. So metallic that already looks it looks really cool, doesn't it? Try and get some light on it so you guys can see. There you go. So what I'm going to do is just paint the back of it once it's dry and uh, eventually I'll be putting the cake together. You can check out uh, the finished cake um, on Carmen's Crazy Cakes Facebook page. That's C-A-R-M-E-N-S and crazy is spelled with C-R-A uppercase Z or Z if you're in the States. And, um, I'll be finishing this cake within the next week. So um, depending on when you're watching this video, it'll be done mid-June and you can check it out on our page. It'll be a ninja cake. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I hope to uh, hear from you guys. Um, feel free to leave a comment or if you have any questions about the products we have, just let me know. And again, this is the Edible Art Sweet Sticks Gunmetal Grey. And it's part of the metallic line from Sweet Sticks. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye guys.